Hollywood is a lot of times. Um, it showcases that, well, they're, they're making pictures for the entire country and for the entire world. So they themselves are, are restricted and limited sometimes by the sellability, by, by the bottom line dollar when it comes to some of these types of productions. I, I personally feel like there's a uh, balance of those two things, though. Like, I feel like you can definitely still make the money, but also enrich the um, community. So um, I kind of want to take that as an opportunity to kind of delve into our main topic for tonight. Uh, the main topic tonight is going to be toxic masculinity. This is the part two of the video. And I kind of want to delve into it specifically on how it affects us as members of the LGBTQ community. community. Now, everyone here is, um, I don't know how everyone identifies. We don't, we don't have a, um, a female, but that's not to say that this is not an issue that they don't deal with because there's a lot of women who definitely deal with toxic masculinity as in their traits and dealing with the traits of others. So I just want to preface with that. Um, kind of want to start um, just by saying, kind of similar to the last video, Julian, you'll know. So, you know, they're bringing X-Men to the MCU and when we're talking about inclusivity and stuff like that and everything you just said um it makes me think about bobby drake who is iceman um and he's basically the first x-men who is officially now in the in the old movies he was never played as a homosexual in the comic books he's gay originally yeah, but yes. not originally oh, okay. i think it's, not it's, originally. A, it's more of a new it's a new like storyline that, yeah. that makes yeah. him gay yeah i think it's beautiful because yeah choice you know what I'm saying? It was a choice to be like, we need this inclusivity out, out here. Now, the question I have is because I think when it comes to gay and being put on entertainment screens, I feel like they don't want to really show gay men on TV as much as they don't mind showing gay women on TV. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Once Upon a sure. Time had Mulan and Rapunzel, and they were like kind of in love with each other. But the idea that an MCU would have a male, male gay character, I feel like is is a little bit more of a stretch. And I feel like that has to do with our ideals behind femininity, masculinity, and how can two, because Bobby Drake's not necessarily a feminine character. So how could you have that character and his partner who's also not feminine? How are we going to show them on, on screen and everything? So how do y'all feel about that? Well, didn't they, wasn't, I know Deadpool's not like in the official MCU, but wasn't Deadpool like bi? Weren't they kind yeah, of- Yeah, Deadpool's bi. Hint, yeah. But they hinted like to they kind of hinted toward it in this one. The only time I remember them talking about it is there was one scene, and I only saw the first one, where the girl was, like, using a strap on on him. And yeah, I know, yeah, Shelf, I, I know. Like, I feel like Deadpool's a stretch. I feel like Deadpool would, like, <laughs> not to, like, like be, like, a bestiality or, like, a, but I feel like he would do anything, Deadpool, that character. Well, this was before he was Deadpool, for one. But... Uh -huh. But I mean, yeah, that, that's why that was the first R-rated superhero movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, you know, but they didn't go like full tilt in the direction of his like, yeah. you know, what I mean? they kind of they just alluded to the fact that he's by kind of a yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's not that's a barely an illusion. A, illusion. Is that mm -hmm. word? That's yeah, it's more. Movie. It is like more of a more of a <laughs> demonstration. <Yeah>. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like I feel like. I don't know. And I guess maybe I'm in my feelings today because of the conversation that I had before, but I really feel like so out of touch with everybody else sometimes when I feel like, I felt like I was so part of this movement mm -hmm. two days ago. I felt like I was part of this like positive change. And then after that conversation, I was like, no, you're not. This isn't for you because you're not, you're gay black. You're not black. So, and then these ideas that exist and even in that, like that was a choice made to make that character that way. Even in Deadpool, he can be like that on the page, but when we go to a bigger audience, he can't be like that. That's because of society. Mm -hmm. um, society portrays um, what they want, want to look at. Um, they're fine with saying two women. That, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's every straight man fantasy. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But when they see two Which is why that's women, always been okay. And that, that's going to be a problem. That's, oh, oh, gross. And, you know, you get those whole things of two men. Brokeback Mountain is a good one for you. You know, they, they which was a good movie. Like, I almost cried at the end. I, I love the movie. You know, oh my god! I, still don't, well, you know, I did Jacob, cry. I, I know, right? I did cry. That was the hard cry. part. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you're gonna get two gay men to play in one of the biggest or first like big gay movies like in a long time, you're gonna get Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath yeah, Ledger because he they're. Gorgeous, and yeah. and people can wrap and 
can wrap their heads around that. But see, right. I applaud them for doing the role and doing yeah. it, in my opinion, justice. Like, they mm -hmm, didn't play mm -hmm. to any stereotypes. They just played two men in love. Yeah, they did. I, I thought it was a beautiful kind of take on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's probably the only reason, and not the only reason, but the only way you could probably have it be that successful was yeah. playing it very very hetero like oh it, there, there's no other storylines there's on. a reason why moonlight got all the accolades it got yeah. to be honest i thought that 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 the that the story like even the love story was just so underwhelming it was so it was, it was so underdeveloped underdeveloped it was so underdeveloped i didn't and I was see like, it oh, I, but he like what? loves him in the end or whatever but no, yeah, it's, yeah. it's supposed to be very Brokeback Mountain, except think, think, yeah. think the ghetto, though. You know what I mean? But, like, they're in the hood. Not the, the ghetto, but they're in the hood. Only... They're in the hood. He's a hood rat. But they were. He was a hood rat. I cannot. There's no, there's no going around that. It's fine. It's 